where sin is rampant across the community. The church, in their aspiration to better the world, gives a talk about the intercession of the saints through scriptures and sacred traditions. What is it? Everyone answer. Do, do any of you guys know? Raise your hand, PJ. You know it. <laughs> anyway. Yes, yes, you. I think interceding means that you ask, like, Mary, the saints, or like, I don't know, to like ask them to pray for you. And Indeed. 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 No, okay, never mind. Okay. Well, according to dictionary.com, intercession is, in uh, religious terms, is praying on the be on behalf of God, you know, like through someone else. So, you were here. I guess you got. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. I guess you got the whole concept. So let's get right into it. So the what most people, or I would I wouldn't want to call anyone out, but you know, you know, you know who I'm talking about. You know. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Delete it. This is going up wrong. I'm just saying. Huh? Okay, just go. What? <laughs> Okay, so the misconception that a lot of other people think is that we idolize saints and we worship them, which is indeed very, very wrong. Wrong! 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 Say it with me! Wrong! wrong. <laughs> okay, so let's clarify on what we really do. So. According to Catholic Answers by Paul Whitney, <laughs> uh, we, we do not worship Mary. According to this text, we do not worship Mary. We, we, pray, we, pray, we intercede through her to Christ. Basically, let's say, we pray, okay, let's say we're praying the rosary, and for each decade, we have a special intention. And we think that Sometimes these intentions do not be heard, are heard by God, but necessarily they are uh, interceding through Mary, and sometimes those prayers go to other people who need them more. Like if you, if you were like, you, you're, uh, you're um, hoping to get a good grade on your test, but some kid in Africa uh, is also praying for um, food or resources, God may... God or Mary, they she intercedes she intercedes through that prayer to help the person who is more in need, and then like it's not that she's ignoring you, she's for the greater you, good. for the greater good. Yes. Yeah, that's Mama it. knows best, right, PJ? <laughs> Mama knows what's best. Mama knows what's best. <laughs> okay, so people, uh, they also say that we have no scripture to back this up, but. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Well, Mama knows what the good stuff is. Yeah, Mama, oh, yeah. Mama knows yeah. the good stuff. Okay, so... My mom bought me that book. Yeah, my mom knows mama, the good stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. Where's your name on it? it? doesn't say it. Okay, but... Okay, so... There's a lot of scriptural reading, but... There's some that I find in particular that... Helps us clarify on this. How you feeling? Sorry. Itchy. Itchy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I don't want to leave. Okay. Don't feel itchy. To be honest. Uh, let me find it. Hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What is it? 
Timothy. Okay. So according to First Timothy chapter two verses one through five, one through five. Okay. So because Jesus Christ is the one mediator between God and man, many Protestants deny the Catholic belief that the saints on earth and in heaven can mediate on our behalf. But before Paul's teaching about Jesus as the one mediator, Paul urges supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people. people is, Paul is thus appealing for mediation, for, for mediation from other besides Christ, the one mediator, and they ask why. And it says, because this, is, this subordinate mediation is good and acceptable to God our Savior, because God is our Father and we are His children. God invites us to participate in Christ's role as mediator. And then another one is, Therefore, although Jesus Christ is the sole mediator between God and man, there are many intercessors. So, you can, think, you can say whatever you want, but we got all of this information to back it up. And we've got lots of sources. I was, yes, girl. We got you. I even got a prayer card. It even says inter interceding. And Jesus didn't make all these prayer cards for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it even oh, says, I was saying it. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. I got it. Okay, so it even says here that St. Jude is the intercessor before God, and we pray for that. Sorry, I spit. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we do not worship saints. We intercede through them. <laughs> we intercede through them, and I know... Or they intercede for us, rather. Yes, yeah, they intercede for us, rather. Thank you, Rich. <laughs> okay, so I have another scriptural, 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 yes. Passage. Passage. And it's from Hebrew. Um, we speak Hebrew. Yeah, we don't speak Hebrew. Sadly. Sadly. Fun fact. The ah. original languages of the Bible were Greek, Aramaic, and... and? Hebrew! Hebrew! Okay. And when one looks at the original text translations, a lot of um, you'll find a lot of nice surprises that come from the early church. Just, just a fun fact. Okay. okay. Just in case you actually thought that was the only text that I could find, we have more to back it up. So in First Corinthians chapter four, verse sixteen. The most important form of veneration of the saints is imitating the saints, as Paul commands us to do. So, we don't, worshiping Christ, our one and only God, we, we have, we, that is our main goal, we, we, we worship God, but, but there, we can, we, we, we don't worship saints, we pray through them, and we are not worshiping them, we are not, not worshiping any of them, especially Mary. People say that we worship Mary. And I'm gonna show you something. Oh. Cat okay, it says here Catholics are just aware, as any other religion, that Mary was a human creature. Yeah, she was only human, guys. She was only human. Only oh. human. Only human. Oh. Say it with me. Only human. human, not oh. divine like the vine of fruit that brings us the stuff <laughs> from above. Okay. Does our Lord Jesus okay. Christ know what's up? Okay. Gave us the scriptures and the holy tradition. Mm -hmm. That's what he does to make sure we get what's good. <laughs> Preach! Okay. Okay. So it says, uh, Mary was a human creature and therefore not entitled to the honors which are reserved to God alone. To what God alone. To God alone. What many non-Catholics mistake for adoration is very profound love and veneration. Nothing more. Mary is not adored, first because God forbids it, and secondly because the canon law of the Catholic Church, which is based on the divine law, forbids it. The canon law of 1255 of the 1918 Codex strict forbidly adoration of any other than the Holy Trinity. So you got that right. We don't adore Mary. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> I approve no, this. No, we not. Indeed. Okay. So back to the scriptural, the scripture passages um, from Corinthians 1. Again, it says, again, Paul says, be imitators of me as I am of Christ. The ultimate objective of veneration is imitation, not worshiping. 
No. We do not worship. We worship God. <laughs> God alone. Okay, we got one more, one more. Okay, so in Hebrews 6, chapter 6, verses, verse 12, the author teaches us to be imitators, again, imitators, of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises, also known as the saints. And also in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7, we must imitate the faith of our faithful leaders. Again, the saints. We ask for their intercession and venerate them for their holiness. So I could go on and on and on and on and on and on. Oh. But I don't need to prove myself because I already have and God knows what's up. The so, truth defends itself. Yeah, the truth don't change. The truth don't, don't change. change. So the Cray 2015. Okay, so to conclude in this, I just want to say that if anyone ever calls you out upon the water, I'm just kidding. It's only a music ministry joke. <laughs> we got our own inside jokes now. Okay, so to conclude, uh, whenever anyone like just calls you out <laughs> upon the water, if anyone calls you out, not upon the waters, maybe I don't know. That what it means. Um, you have this to back you up, because no, you can't. If people say all you do is what, well, we do all we do is worship God. But if they tell you that all you guys do is idolize statues and, and relics, yeah, relics, pictures. You got all of this. All wait, no, wait, no, never mind. Sorry. You got all of this. You got all of this. You got all of this. You got everything. You can, cause everything I've just shown you is the truth, and we got everything to back it up. And let's, yeah, we are, we're gonna win this battle. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. I mean, okay, okay. All we do is win. Okay, okay. Let, let, let's, let's just let's just uh, take uh, take another um, take uh, just 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 the last point to make. Oh, that means I did something wrong. Okay, so <laughs> all of us are brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. And um, let's, and uh, when we are alive in Christ, we are alive. Amen? Amen. In spirit. Amen? Amen. Amen. So even, and the communion of saints, the church is not different. Church is separated by death separated by those in heaven or in, or in purgatory or on earth but rather the church is one the church is one church and therefore death does not separate us from our brothers and sisters because god is not god of the dead but god of the living amen amen, amen. And the saints are alive in christ amen amen so it is, it is just as right to ask your brother and sister next to you right now for prayers as it is to ask the saints and we are one family in Christ. I mean, okay, let, let, let's just use this as an example. Uh, when your family, uh, when your family member dies, don't you ever just kind of like sit there and you you look up and you're like, tell God I say hi or something like that. I mean, I, I see I, I, a lot of people do that. So I don't know why it's wrong to ask for the saints intercession. I mean, um, Paul did it. Peter did it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, and and, and uh, um, Jesus himself talked to dead saints, but they were alive in God. When during the Transfiguration, when he talked to uh, uh, Moses and Elijah, um, technically he was doing what we were doing. So, Amen. Hey. So I want to thank our brother Pete for giving this talk. Okay, so uh, that closes it for today. Thank you for your bless you. Until and, and thank you for your uh, um, explanation of scripture interpretation from the way the early church interpreted it. <laughs> and uh, thank you for thank you for giving the talk, PJ. You're welcome. <laughs> this wait, no, is. No, no, wait, no, no. Oh. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah.
Okay, so um, YFLRGVTNE out. Yeah.